Hello everyone, my name is Vanessa. The name of this channel is called Gnostic Knowledge. And what I am doing on this channel is reading another book written by the same author, Zachary K. Hubbard. And the name of this book is entitled Number Games 9-11 to Coronavirus. And um, this is my way of trying to help spread the uh, knowledge of Gematria. That's what his books are about. The first book that I read was um, Letters and Numbers written by Zachary K. Hubbard and his books are about Gematria. Gematria is the encoding of numbers within our letters. Every word we speak has a numerical value and I think the information that he has made available to the public my god it is just priceless and I am just so glad to know this information that this is my way of helping to spread it. I think it, the information is that important to um, get it out to the public. Um, the first book, Letters and Numbers, that he's written, you can get that book yourself, your own copy. It's a PDF file, but the book is so phenomenal. Uh, visit his YouTube channels, Gematria Effect News or Gematria Effect Sports. And... Um, in the description of each of the videos he uh, produces he leaves a link for you to purchase the book the book is only five dollars and in my opinion this information is priceless order the book it comes to you via email as a PDF file as I stated uh, be sure you save the file to the hard drive of your computer your cell phone your laptop iPad whichever device you're going to use so you'll always have access to the book he left the copyright off this book so that you can have it bound into a, a book for your own personal library you can load upload it to lulu.com and they will bind it into a book and um, <clears throat> mail it back to you as well um, as you can see his book uh, number games 9-11 to um, coronavirus it is a physical book and it is now available on uh, and that is Zachary K Herbert the young man that wrote the book this book is now available on Amazon, and um, it is a is right now is as a pre-order. It will be released on October 13th, and um, so you can place an order for the book now. Um, you can also order this book directly from Zachary K. Hubbard by visiting his um, blog page, GematriaEffectNews.blogspot.com. And the first thing you'll see when you arrive at that um, page is the advertising for the book Number Games 9-11 to um, Coronavirus. Now, if you become a Patreon for Zachary K. Hubbard, you can get both these books for $1 at the $1 tier being a Patreon. You'll get them both as a PDF file format. But on his blog page, the first thing you'll see is the advertising for his book. And as you scroll through, it'll give you the information the instructions information and instructions on how to purchase the book within the United States and abroad but um, the more you find out about Gematria the more you will come to understand this alpha numeric code and this code is how our histories have been manufactured by this code these people are playing God and this code comes from the Torah and other biblical uh, text but mainly the the Bible and um, so I encourage you to get these books teach these this information to your children learn it for yourself see exactly what is going on because Gematria is um, it's a code and er everything that has been uh, given to us in history our educational system news sports movies it is all one interconnected big web of lies and you can totally see that and with that said I am going to continue reading and um, but this time I am reading uh, the book number games 9-11 to coronavirus and I will start on page one of this book so and here we go should you read this book if you think it is interesting that on September 11 2001 flight 77 reportedly hit the 77 foot tall Pentagon in Washington DC on the 77th Meridian West after taking off at 8:20 a.m. and crashing at 937 937 a.m. 77 minutes later then this book is for you 
Furthermore, if you can comprehend that there is a code of numbers behind the letters of the English language as simple as ABC is 1, 2, 3, and using this code reveals that phrases and names such as September 11th, World Trade Center, and Order from Chaos equate to 77, this book is definitely for you. And please know, these are all facts, just the same as it is a fact that Pentagon construction began September 11th, 1941, just prior to Pearl Harbor. So, there are 19 chapters in this book, so uh, the table of contents are as follows. Chapter 1, Introduction to Gematria, the Language of the Cabal. Chapter 2, 1968, Year of the Coronavirus and 9-11 Master Plan. Chapter 3, 222 months later from 9-11 to the Coronavirus Pandemic. Four, Event 201, the Jesuit Order, Anthony Fauci, and Pope Francis. Chapter 5, Crimson Contagion, Pandemic, Ex oh, sorry, Chapter 5, Crimson Contagion Pandemic Exercise, and New York Times, okay? Chapter 6, Cladex Pandemic Exercise, and the Pandemic 666 Days Later. Chapter 7, Operation Dark Winter, and Mr. Bright's Darkest Winter Warning. Mm -hmm. Chapter 8, Donald Trump's Vaccine Plan, Operation Warp Speed. Chapter 9, HR 6666, Contact Tracing. ID 2020 and the Big Tech Takeover. Chapter 10, Rockefeller's 2010 Scenarios for the Future of Technology. Chapter 11, Bill Gates' first birthday on Jonas Salk's 42nd and Elvis. Chapter 12, Tom Hanks and the Use of Celebrity to Sell the Pandemic. Chapter 13, Nadia the Tiger. Tiger King and Year of the Tiger 2022. Chapter 14, Coronavirus Predictive Programming in Popular Media. Chapter 15, Kansas City Chiefs Super Bowl 54 win and 222, well, the 222 ritual. 222. Uh, chapter 16, NBA's Suspension and Kobe Bryant's Burial in Corona. Del Mar. Chapter 17, Trump's assassination of Qasem Soleimani and World War III rumors. Chapter 18, George Floyd, NASCAR, and the racial aspect of coronavirus. Chapter 19, The Strange Thing That Happened in Hotel Room 201. Okay. About the author and book. Number Games 9-11 to Coronavirus. Hi, my name is Zachary Hubbard, and on September 11, 2001, in addition to everything else you know about that date, I made myself a promise. The promise was, I will find out who is really responsible for 9-11, and I will do something about it. I said that because I knew I was being lied to about the entire story, and at the same time, I felt that I was being mocked. This was mostly due to it being reported that there was a national emergency like none other on the date written no different than 911, the national emergency dialing code for the United States, only to find out shortly after that shortly after that World Trade Center construction has started in 1968 in New York the same year 9-11 was made the National Emergency Dialing Code. In addition to those details I had always had a strong sense for justice and doing what was right when given two or more choices. I was also thinking about how if I had made a slightly different decision a summer prior I might be one of the young men being shipped off to fight 
the coming war based in obvious lie based in an obvious lie as some of my friends were including my buddy Oscar who ha who I had known since second grade I was only 18 years old then in my second week of college living out of state but I wasn't anybody's fool since then nothing has changed about my sense of justice or doing what is right and I never broke my promise to myself either that's why as of the start of 2020 after nearly 19 years of extremely time-consuming research I definitely know the answer to the question of who is responsible for September 11, 2001, and I want the world to know as well, and to be able to prove it in the same way I can, in a way that is truly undeniable and deep and evidence-based. That is what this book is about, a book that has the power to change the world in terms of exposing and ending tyranny and thinking about the way we treat each other and this place we call home, Earth. I think you no, I thank you for taking the time to read it and I promise you that if you do, you will enjoy it and you will learn way more than you expect. Plus, you'll develop a skill that will benefit you for the rest of your life. If you agree with the phrase, knowledge is power, then this book is for you. Cheers, Truth Seeker. And oh yes, one more thing. You will also learn that the same cabal behind 9-11 is the same cabal behind the coronavirus outbreak and that is because they are two related agendas that are about building on technocratic surveillance grid um, you know about building a technocratic surveillance grid so that the government and big industry can have a watchful eye on all aspects of our lives at all times for the continued sake of power and control and we must stop it Okay, so chapter one, introduction to Gematria, the language of the cabal, okay? You've likely heard the term the cabal before, meaning a secretive and political organization. The name originates in Kabbalah, an ancient and widely practiced mysticism, a central belief within Kabbalah that we will focus on for the purpose of this book is God created the world with language by combining the number with the letter with the word. This is expressed in the foundational text of Kabbalah, the Sefer Zira, or in English, the Book of Formation. Okay. In its opening paragraph, it states, in reference to God creating the world, He created His universe by three forms of expression. Numbers letters and words okay this belief about creation from the book of formation is in line with the beginning of the Holy Bible that begins with Genesis where God speaks the world into existence over the course of six numbered days before resting on the seventh day and making it holy ahead we'll touch more on the number seven and it being holy because it is an important concept to understand for now, please recognize that both God and Genesis begin with G, the seventh letter of the English alphabet. In Kabbalah, the practice of coding numbers into words is known as gematria, meaning geometry in language. Gematria is very popular in Hebrew studies and in ancient Greek studies where it is known as an isopsophy. Isopsophy, okay? <clears throat> if you are familiar with Revelation 13, 18 from the concluding book of the Holy Bible, it is a Greek isopsophy riddle. In the NIV Bible, the verse reads, This calls for wisdom. Let the person who has insight calculate the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. That number is 666. In this chapter, we will uncover that wisdom and in the chapters ahead we will use it to understand who the cabal is for what purpose they are working towards 
and why they have encoded the number 666 into world changing events including September 11, 2001 and the coronavirus pandemic of 2020 as well as smaller but related rituals including the premature death of basketball superstar Kobe Bryant. To begin to understand the wisdom of Gematria and how the English language is encoded with it, we will start with the most straightforward cipher known as Simple English Gematria, where A is 1, B is 2, C is 3, and so on, counting each letter as a number using the alphabetic order up to Z, the 26th letter is 26. The simple English Gematria cipher is as follows and I will show you that cipher and you can also look at the decoding the decode of simple English Gematria, Gematria right below there okay you can get a screenshot of that or alrighty <clears throat> so as you can see as you saw simple equates to 74 the word English equates to 74 and the uh, word gematria equates to 74 as well so um, it is just amazing how this cipher works but you can tell that this is a very well thought out cipher all of them are but anyway gematria is about pairing words together that have matching numerical values and logical relationships okay for example notice how Jesus Messiah gospel parables and cross each equate to 74 as well a very special number as we will come to understand if you are not familiar with the gospel it is the story of Jesus and when Jesus speaks within it he does so in parables so I'm gonna show you the decode really quick for Jesus Messiah gospel parables and cross okay alrighty so paying mind to the fact that Gematria is a component of Kabbalah and the purpose of studying Kabbalah is to better understand the nature of God the relevance of 74 can be understood by observing a Jewish rule about writing the name of God a name that is best written G hyphen D as a form of respect unless it is written while studying the Torah or in prayer okay you'll notice G is the seventh letter and D is the fourth thus G hyphen D is seven hyphen four seven four and not by chance the word Jewish equates to 74 using simple English gematria too for another 74 the spiritual leader of Islam Muhammad is a name equating to 74 equating to 74 and sadly it is no coincidence that Muhammad Ali died at age 74 June 3rd 2016 when it is widely believed that the Prophet Muhammad died at age 63 consider June 3rd is expressed 63 similar to 63 and further 2016 is the 63rd triangular number meaning that when 1 through 63 are added together the total sums to 2016 if you were following me in 2014 I predicted that Muhammad Ali would die at age 74 because of the significance of the number sadly I was right so Muhammad equates to 74 another spiritual another spiritual leader to some is Lucifer summing to 74 as well and referred to as the morning star not unlike Jesus building on our understanding of 74 and how it is used ritualistically we need look no further than the Freemasons one of the many Masonic orders that are based in Kabbalah among other occult teachings as we decode the 74s in Masonic and occult 
Keep in mind, you must believe in G-D to become a member of the Freemason Brotherhood. Also keep in mind, the deceased Freemason and Confederate Army War General Albert Pike made numerous mentions of Lucifer in his text, Morals and Dogma, that was immortalized in Washington, D.C., known as the Masonic City, in a statue of Albert Pike holding the book until it was toppled in the wake of the George Floyd protests, only for Donald Trump to declare it be re-erected. Mm -hmm. So the word Masonic equates to 74, occult equates to 74 as well. For the record, Modern Freemasonry began in London, in London, England, in the year 1717. Hmm. <laughs> you know, I said that, you know, I was watching an old scholastic um, video today. Um, I was showing it to my grandkids. One of my, uh, a friend of mine told me that she had to sing this song when she was in second grade. And it was called, um, I think the name of the song is I Don't Care, a little boy, uh, Pierre, I Don't Care. But when the little video starts, uh, the address they show is 1770. <laughs> I'm about to look into that some more. It's just crazy. But anywho, back to, back to the reading. For the record, modern Freemasonry began in London, England in the year 1717. And the word London equates to 74. In light of the relevance of 74, it is not... It is not reported in history books. It is not reported in history books by accident that the Freemason and first recognized president of the United States of America, George Washington, had 74 generals. It is also not an accident that the Disney film about the Freemasons National Treasure begins in the year 1974. Nor is it an accident that the United States date of independence is July 4th, a date that can be a date that is written in the US as 74. Adding to the relevance of the number, you'll observe that holiday equates to 74. Holiday means holy day, and and as was mentioned at the beginning of the chapter, the number seven is associated with being holy. In light of what we have uncovered so far about 74, consider that seven is the fourth prime number and the divisors of four sum to seven. For a little math reminder, prime numbers are those that can only be divided by one and themselves. As for, as for divisors, those are the numbers that divide into a number. For example, the only numbers that divide into 4 are 1, 2, and 4. And when added together, equate to 7. And if you're wondering at this point, if it is an accident that the fourth book of the Holy Bible is titled Numbers, the answer is no. Okay, coming back to the 4th of July, as you might be aware, the 2nd, 3rd, and 5th Presidents of the United States, John Adams, Thomas Jefferson, and James Monroe, each died on July 4th. Adams and Jefferson both died July 4th, 1826, and then 1826 days later, 1826, but well, you know, 1826, Days later, James Monroe died on July 4, 1831. <clears throat> what makes this all the more chilling is that the word killing has simple English of gematria. I mean, simple English gematria of 74. The word killing has simple English gematria of 74. And on the subject of killing, I would encourage you to look up the lyrics to the song Gematria. The Killing Name by the band Slipknot, as well as the song Murder by Numbers by the band The Police, where killing is as simple as ABC is 1, 2, 3. I would also encourage you to think about how the giving and taking of life is God's work. <clears throat> But as we will discuss in the pages ahead, there is an organization of people using this code to play God, who for now we will simply call 
the cabal. Okay. Adding to the killing riddle, the Gregorian calendar that we go by now pays tribute to the fatal stabbing of Caesar on the Ides of March, March 15th, the 74th day of the year. And the word stabbing equates to 74. <clears throat> As you will learn, killing rituals centered on the number 74 are quite common. In later chapters, we will discuss the drowning death of Naya Rivera a gra in great detail. But for now, you can know that it was no accident she posted a photo of herself in a Jim Morrison t-shirt on her Instagram page, February 7, 2019, precisely a span of 74 weeks before her July 8th. 2020 death. This is because Jim Morrison was found dead in a bathtub, equating to 74, the same as the word drown. Okay, and please keep in mind that Jim Morrison was found by his girlfriend Pamela Corson, who would end up dying in 1974 at the same tragic age as Jim Morrison, 27. Another number we will learn more about as we progress through the pages of this book. So the word, of course, bathtub equates to 74 as well as drown <coughs> equates to 74. In case you're getting the idea, maybe a lot of words happen to sum to 74. I'll have you know that out of the 50 states, only one sums to 74 in simple English gematria, and that is the 33rd state, Oregon. This is similar to how it is written in history books that George Washington had 74 generals, and 33 of them were Masons. It also reminds us that Jesus was put on the cross at age 33 according to most teachings about his crucifixion. And yes, we will learn more, much more about the number 33 <clears throat> in great detail in the chapters ahead. Its understanding is essential and it is connected to why the actress Naya Rivera died at age 33 by drowning as well as why Herman Cain, once a U.S. presidential candidate, died a span of 33 weeks from his 74th birthday having been born December 13, 1945 and having died July 30th, 2020. As you will learn, the pattern of 33 and 74 coming together is extremely repetitious and when it is used in killing, <coughs> the cause of death that is typically reported is false. <coughs> Let me reread that, sorry. As you will learn, the pattern of 33 and 74 coming together is extremely repetitious and when it is used in killing, the cause of death that is typically reported is false, such as Herman Cain's, which was blamed on coronavirus. <coughs> so the word Oregon equates to 74. The abbreviation of Oregon, OR, equates to 33. Coming back to the 4th of July, there is another important observation that can be made about the date written 7-4 and the number 74 by running the alphabetic order in reverse, a method known as reverse simple English gematria. Using this cipher, the word free sums to 74, and July 4th, 1776 is reportedly the date that the United States made itself from free from England, the king and the crown. <laughs> the latter of which is the banking cartel out of the city of London whose flag is a red cross and being an independent territory that is located in the center of the 33 sections that London is divided into. Without further ado, the reverse simple English gematria cipher and I will show you that right now. And you can also see the decode for the word free right below it in bold letters. Okay, so this is the reverse simple English cipher. And the word free equating to 74 in this cipher. Okay. <clears throat> 
Alrighty. Using this same cipher, the word Roman sums to 74. And as they say, all roads lead to Rome, including the ones that the city of London were built upon, which was once a strategic Roman trading post. As we decode the word, keep in mind the Gregorian calendar was given to us by the Roman Catholic Church, the same calendar that pays tribute to the killing of Caesar by stabbing on the 74th day of the year. And a little further ahead, we'll decode the 74 in Roman Catholicism. So, in light of the Albert Pike statue we referenced early, earlier, it should be noted that it fell on Juneteenth, th June 19, 2020, the 171st day of the leap year, corresponding with the name Albert Pike, equating to 171 with reverse simple English. Furthermore, consider that Juneteenth is to remember the emancipation of enslaved people at the conclusion of the U.S. Civil War that has been celebrated since June 19, 1865, and Albert Pike was a Confederate War General. As you will begin to understand, as we move ahead, this was not an accident but a symbolic ritual and what we will come to know as a number game. So the name Albert Pike equates to 171. Well, actually, Albert equates to 104. The word Pike, or his name, last name, Pike equates to 67. Albert Pike, 104 plus 67, equates to 171. And for further proof of the ritual and who was responsible for the statue coming down, using the exact same cipher, Freemasons equates to 155. And June 19th, 2020, when the statue fell, was the 155th anniversary of Juneteenth. Keep in mind the House of the Temple, the Freemason headquarters in Washington, D.C., pays tribute to Pythagoras who said everything is a number <coughs> excuse me so the word Freemasons equates to 155 okay coming back to the 4th of July we'll now examine how the name Independence Day as it is called in the United States equates to 74 to calculate this value, we'll use what is arguably the most important cipher known as a known as the Pythagorean Gematria, or known as Pythagorean Gematria. Excuse me. I don't know why my voice is just cracking. Um, <laughs> sorry about that. <coughs> but anyway, I'm moving right along. I'm going to reread this uh, paragraph. Coming back to the 4th of July, we'll now examine how the name Independence Day, as it is called in the United States, equates to 74. Okay? To calculate this value, we'll use what is arguably the most important cipher known as Pythagorean Gematria, also referred to as Reduction Gematria. It is based on the alphabetic order and incorporates the rules of numerology. You will notice A through I are 1 through 9 in this cipher, the same as simple English gematria. And the change begins with J, the tenth letter, that in, numer that in numerology terms becomes 1 plus 0 equates to 1, followed by K, the eleventh letter, that becomes 1 plus 1 equates to 2, followed by the by L, the twelfth letter, that becomes 1 plus 2 equates to 3, and so on up to Z, the twenty-sixth letter, becoming 2 plus 6 is 8. And here is the Pythagorean um, gematria known as reduction, and it's right at the bottom of the page there, so you can see the letters and their corresponding numbers. Alrighty. <coughs> Okay, 
let us now in decode Independence Day into 74. So, the word independence equates to 62. Day equates to 12. So, Independence Day, 62 plus 12 equates to 74. Using Pythagorean gematria, alphabetic order, and numerical language, each equates to 74 as well. <clears throat> In this cipher, Roman Catholicism also sums to 74. And I am going to show you these, um, these uh, decodes really quickly here. So you could probably get a screenshot if you like and um, practice them yourself. But anywho. Okay. And for a well-remembered U.S. president summing to 74 in Pythagorean gematria, try Richard Nixon, who resigned in 1974 on the date August 9th, exactly 212 days after his January 9th birthday. I bring up the 212 days because if you decode the name of the man who replaced him, Gerald Rudolph Ford Jr., you'll notice it sums to 212 using the simple English gematria. <laughs> it is crazy. <clears throat> to build further on your understanding of how 74 and 33 come together, Regis Philbin equates to 74 with Pythagorean gematria, and his death on July 24th, 2020, was a span of 33 days from his August 25th birthday. Beyond that, every article written about his death at age 88 mentioned that his hit show, Live with Regis and Kathy Lee, began in 1988. In other words, the mainstream media's reporting was letting those with eyes to see his demise was a number game. Alrighty, with the use of simple English and Pythagorean gematria, you can begin to appreciate why the English language is made up of 26 letters. By no coincidence is it that God and letter equate to 26 using these two ciphers respectively. And on the subject of 26, I would encourage you to read the first chapter of my first book, Letters and Numbers to learn more about all that dazzles when it comes to the number 26, a number that will be discussed extensively in the pages ahead as we expose those who are truly playing God over humanity by the Gematria Code that again is based in Kabbalah, a spiritual mysticism in tribute to God. These people are terrible. Another related word summing to 26 using Pythagorean gematria is Crusade. This matters because the story goes that during the time of the Crusades, the Knights Templar, who are the holy warriors of the Catholic Church and its Pope, secured the knowledge of Kabbalah after successfully seizing Jerusalem in the year 1099 before bringing it back to the Church. Thus it was the Crusades that led to the Roman Catholic Church's understanding of what is considered God's code, and by tracing through history as we did in my first book, <clears throat> it appears the Church has been operating by this code ever since. Okay? Case in point, it's no accident that the most recent Crusades of the Holy Lands began October 7, 2001, 26 days after September 11, 2001. And for the person reading who does not yet understand the connections between the Catholic Church and the United States as well as its military, that is just ahead. Ooh, excuse me. We'll also uncover more about the October 7, 2001 invasion in the pages ahead. A clear Templar ritual. And the word crusade equates to 26. Once again, it is a belief held within Kabbalah that numbers, letters, and words are the magic of the world. 
and the basis of creation as well as the existence of all things. In light of this belief, consider the meaning of the word spell and its associations with the crafting of words as well as magic. When you run the alphabetic order in reverse and use the rules of numerology, the word spell also equates to 26. This method is known as reverse Pythagorean gematria or reverse reduction gematria and the cipher is as follows and I will show you this cipher. Reverse Pythagorean gematria also known as reverse reduction right at the top of the page. Okay. And um, so using this cipher names such as George Washington and Jesus Christ equate to 74 pairing perfectly with what we learned earlier about George Washington the Masonic leader and his 74 generals as well as Jesus Messiah gospel parables cross and their simple English gematria values each equating to 74 Another name summing to 74 with this cipher is William III. He is the man responsible for making the city of London an independent territory within London and the nation of England, a nation summing to 33 using reverse Pythagorean with the Tonnage Act, okay, with the Tonnage Act that we will discuss more ahead. As we decode, don't forget that London is divided into 33 areas or that it sums to 74 using simple English gematria. And relating to this pair of numbers so often found together, please know that ahead we'll discuss Boris Johnson ending up in the ICU, an acronym summing to 33 with simple English from coronavirus on April 6th. 2020, 74 days before his 56th birthday, June 19, 2020, and how the media tracked every last detail of his status in the ICU on April 7, a day that can be written as 74 in the UK. A date that is written as 74 in the UK. It will tie in with how it was reported that the Global Vaccine Summit hosted in London on June 3rd and 4th, 2020, raised at least $7.4 billion and that 30, <laughs> uh, 330 million, 33, 330 million of that sum was pledged by the United Kingdom itself. <laughs> it will also tie in with how Vera Lynn died on June 18th 2020, 74 days after Queen Elizabeth referenced her song, We'll Meet Again, in a rare address to the world, April 5th, 2020, on the subject of the coronavirus pandemic. That's crazy. The ciphers you have now learned make up four parts of what are one system, and we will refer to them as the base ciphers of the English language. In the chapters ahead, we will use these four ciphers to unlock the riddles that have been laid down by the cabal over the centuries, connecting world-shifting events with a focus on September 11th. 2001 and the coronavirus pandemic of 2020. As we will soon get to, it is no accident that the World Trade Centers collapsed on the 74th Meridian West in Manhattan, New York after standing for 33 years, just the same as it is no coincidence that a simulation was conducted for a coronavirus outbreak and pandemic on October 18th. 2019, the day leaving 74 days left in the year, in the lone month having a gematria value of 33, and both events taking place in New York, a state having reversed Pythagorean gematria of 33. 
regarding the date of the simulation, October 18, 2019. It happened to be the same day the military world games began in Wuhan, China, a contest that originated in Rome. Keep in mind, this date was prior to any deadly case of coronavirus being reported in Wuhan or the world, something that would occur in the next month, November of, of 2019. And in light of this book being titled Number Games, we will uncover why the coronavirus outbreak simulation was named Event 201 in Chapter 4. <coughs> no doubt a tribute to the Jesuit order who serves the Catholic Church out of Rome. It is something that can only be understood and proven through having the wisdom and knowledge of Gematria. For now, to further build on the relevance of 74 and to give you a bit of a preview of the fourth chapter, I'll have you know that one of the co-sponsors of Event 201 was the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, an organization that has their headquarters directly across, from, across the street from the 74-acre Seattle Center, the home of the Space Needle that is located on the 47th parallel north. This becomes all the more interesting when you realize that the first case of coronavirus confirmed in the United States, confirmed in the United States was done so in Bill and Melinda Gates backyard, Snohomish County, Washington, and between the couple and the location, we have two more 74s to our list. So, Bill and Melinda Gates equates to 74. Snohomish County equates to 74. So the word Snohomish equates to 48, County 26. Together Snohomish County equates 48 plus 26, 74. So from the decode above you can gather that the name Bill Gates sums to 33 and it is no accident that he was the head of Microsoft for precisely 33 years or that Microsoft became a public company on March 13, 1986 his 137 day of his age and 137 is the 33rd prime number for another March 13th in history he stepped down from his board position at Microsoft and Berkshire Hathaway on March 13, 2020 137 days after his birthday. From the decode above, you can also gather that Melinda Gates sums to 47, the reflection of 74, reminding us that Seattle is on the 47th parallel north and the Microsoft HQ was relocated to Redmond, Washington, also on the 47th parallel north on February 16, 1986, the 47th day of the year. Prior to that, it was headquartered in New Mexico, the 47th state, home of the 1947 Roswell incident, something we'll touch on later. Now to bring even greater clarity and to shed more light on who the cabal is and how they've encoded the English language, let us connect a few more important dots. We'll begin with the fact that the oldest known record of the English language traces back to the monk Birforth of Ramsey Abbey in England and the year 1011. And I'm going to spell um, monks. Monk Beerfest, I'm going to spell the last name, and that's B Y R H T F E R T H. Okay? His alphabet looked a bit different than the one we're familiar with today. It is as follows, and I'm going to show you that. I'm going to highlight it so it'll be quite easy to see, okay? Uh, excuse me. Yeah, I'm just going to. And you can um, read all of that, or maybe I just highlighted all of that there for you so you can see. And 
<clears throat> it says so you you got a good look at I don't know if you got a good look at it hopefully you did uh, or you can kind of scroll back and take a screenshot of it but it says you'll notice that the letters okay J U N W of the modern English alphabet are missing and we go and we no longer use the glyphs from the end so yeah they don't use the glyphs okay uh, hang on here gotta take that off so thus the letters of Birfurth's alphabet were borrowed from Latin the language of ancient Rome and the civilization that the Catholic Church originates from in light of this fact consider that the letters of Latin are used for words as well as numbers through the practice of Roman numerals in other words English has Roman quality I mean let me see in other words English has Roman Catholic origins and is based in a language that has alphanumeric qualities with that in mind consider that English was being standardized with the 26 letter alphabet and agreed to spellings we use today at the end of the 16th century the same time the Gregorian calendar was making its debut in October of 1582 a calendar system that was given to us by the Catholic Church and more specifically Pope Gregory the 13th as we have briefly touched on thus far and as we will come to better understand with more examples the English language and the Gregorian calendar are perfectly in tune with one another if you are new to this work this is something I have been proving daily no exaggerating for seven years straight every single day and it is something you will be able to prove daily for the rest of your days so long as the cabal remains in power to build on our understanding of how gematria and dates come together let's examine the three independent city-states that exist within larger nations that are the locations from where the cabal rules you might guess they all have connections to Rome they are the Vatican City in Italy a spiritual center established February 11th 1929 Washington DC that was formerly a part of the Catholic colony thus why it is between Virginia and Maryland think Virgin Mary and is now a military center that is named after a Masonic war general where the cornerstone for its development was laid September 18 1793 before becoming an independent territory on February 21st 1871 and the city of London within London the most powerful banking center in the world originally built within the fortified walls that were erected by the Romans who once used it as a trading post it should also be noted that the city of London is where modern Freemasonry was established June 24, 1717, not long after becoming an independent territory on July 27, 1694. 1694. Beginning with the Vatican, the name sums to 47 with reverse Pythagorean gematria, same as Francis, the first Jesuit pope and similar to how Christian and confession sum to 47 with Pythagorean gematria the date the Vatican was established February 11 can be written to 11 similar to the number 211 211 the 47th prime number regarding the number 47 if you have the time watch the film the two popes about the process of Pope Francis becoming the 266th Pope you'll notice in the beginning of the movie when he loses the Cardinals vote the first number shown in the election count is 47 so the word Vatican equates to 47 
Christian equates to 47. Confession equates to 47. And Francis, as in France, uh, Pope Francis, Francis equates to 47 in the reverse Pythagorean cipher. The date of Vatican City's establishment, February 11th, can also be expressed as 11-2, similar to 112, a number connecting to the gematria of Catholicism using the simple English cipher. Furthermore, the Jesuits who operate within the Catholic Church serve 112 countries, and the word Jesuit itself sums to 42 using reverse Pythagorean gematria, not unlike how February 11th is the 42nd day of the Gregorian calendar. So Catholicism equates to 112. Jesuit equates to 42. Also noteworthy, on the subject of the Jesuits and the date February 11th, it can be expressed as 2-11. 2, slash 11, 2, 2 11, similar to 211, corresponding with the simple English gematria of the phrase Jesus, Savior of Men, summing to 211, a Jesuit motto that is often expressed in Latin as Isus Hominum Salvator, equating to 266, 266, with reverse simple English and connecting to the fact that Pope Francis is the first Jesuit Pope and he is the 266th Pope in the history of the church one of many mind-blowing facts to come you should also know that the number 266 is the one that we will discuss often in the pages ahead regarding a diversity of topics ranging from Mike Pence being made the corner being made okay excuse me here <clears throat> you should also know that the number 266, 266 is the is one that we will discuss often in the pages ahead regarding a diversity of topics ranging from Mike Pence being made the coronavirus czar of on February 27, 2020, his 266th day of his age to the death of Lisa Marie Presley's son on his 266th day of his age in Calabasas not long after the death of Kobe Bryant in Calabasas 266 days after his wife's birthday while traveling from Catholic Mass for one last point on the Vatican's February 11th establishment, the 42nd day of the Gregorian year, it is not by chance that when using simple English gematria, mathematics sums to 112 and math sums to 42. And at this point, it should be very clear to see the hidden math of the English language is the name of the game. Wow. And at this point, it should be very clear to see the hidden math of the English language. And it is the name of the game. Absolutely. As we decode, consider that 1 plus 1 equates to 2, similar to 112. And the New Testament begins in Matthew and the 42 generations to Jesus. Absolutely. So, mathematics, as he says, equates to 112. Math equates to 42. New equates to 15. Testament equates to 27. The uh, New Testament equates to 42 in the Pythagorean, in Pythagorean gematria. Okay. On the subject of 42, it is wise to consider that the Catholic Church built its fortune by literally selling the Savior with indulgences, a title summing to 42. Savior equates to 42 in reverse Pythagorean gematria as a means of making an escape, I mean, as a means for mankind to escape purgatory and hell for their committed sins. Not by chance, sin sums to 42 in simple English gematria, and that is likely due to an ancient Egyptian teaching known as the 42 Laws of Ma'at, Ma'at, M-A apostrophe A-T, or sometimes called the 42 Confessions.
They begin with, I have not committed sin. Sin equates to 42. Savior equates to 42. For another gematria nugget, when you write out the word 42, it sums to 74 with reverse simple English gematria. Let us not forget the connection with Jesus, the Savior, and 74. This value of 74 is only possible because of the lack of U in 40, a rule that is taught in American English but is inconsistent in the English language overall, given that 4, F-O-U-R, is spelled with a U, as is 14 and 400. You'll notice that 40, F-O-R-T-Y, sums to 84 with simple English, and United States sums to 40 with Pythagorean, and United States of America to 84 with Pythagorean. Tying in with the U.S. summing to 40 with simple English. In chapters ahead, 84 is a number you will learn much about. Before transitioning to the next city-state, Washington, D.C. is an opportune time. Okay, I'm sorry. Before transitioning to the next city-state, Washington, D.C., this is an opportune time to remind us about Andrew Yang, who was a presidential hopeful in the United States, whose slogan was MATH, M-A-T-H, standing for Make America Think Harder. Before dropping out of the race February 11, 2020, the 42nd day of the year, the most mathematical day in the entire Gregorian calendar year. Hmm. In addition to mathematics, his name, Andrew Yang, also sums to 112 using the simple English gematria cipher. As we decode, know that in the pages ahead, we'll expose the U.S. federal government for what it is, a puppet show organized by a mathematical scheme where even the candidates in these predetermined selection processes are on strings. For example, it's no accident that Yang is of Chinese ancestry and he campaigned on the radical concept of giving people $8,000 per month so that they can be phased out of employment due to technology and automation just prior to the Chinese virus, as Donald Trump called it, that led to the shutting down of much of the U.S. economy and the giving away of $1,200 in fiat, fiat currency to every working U.S. adult, including those who were determined to be non-essential. What it was, was a very sick joke from the cabal who does intend to phase us out with the technology they've been developing systematically not only to replace us but to control us and have surveillance over us more and more with each passing day. These are things we will prove beyond a shadow of a doubt in the coming chapters because this agenda is being achieved by the code. It's crazy. Let us now move on to Washington, D.C., the city-state named after George Washington, a favorite person of the Catholic Church because he was tolerant of their operations in the time after the Protestant Reformation, and he was a man who laid the cornerstone for the city on the date of September 18, 1970, I mean 1793, September 18, 1793, a date having relevant, very relevant numerology corresponding with the gematria of the name of the city including 47. Before decoding the relevant gematria, we will take a moment to decode the date numerology using four different methods, all of which are important just the same as the four ciphers you have learned to decode the English language with. These methods are as follows, so be sure to study and use these same steps on all dates you decode going forward, just as we will now do, 
just as we will now do with September 18, 1793, the 261st day of the year, leaving 104 days remaining. And I'm going to show you these decodes. The dates uh, decoded, the shown in bold numbers there. So maybe you can get a screenshot of that. And um, so that way I don't have to read all the numbers there. So anyway, connecting to the date um, numerology, you will notice Washington, D.C., sums to 137 using simple English gematria. Um, D.C. sums to 47 using reverse simple English. Washington, D.C. is located on the 38th parallel north plus the word Kabbalah sums to 38 in simple English. It also sums to 38 using Hebrew gematria and the word Illuminati sums to 120 using simple English similar to how inauguration day for US presidents is January 20th or 1 slash 20. 120. Regarding the Illuminati they were established May 1st, 1776 as a Masonic order by Adam Weishaupt, who was Jesuit trained. We'll touch more on their establishment date ahead as another proof of how the numerical value of words sync with the dates of the year as well as their numerology values. And I will show you the last decode on this page at the bottom of the page there. Alrighty. So as you can see, Washington DC equates to 137. Illuminati 120. Kabbalah 38. DC equates to 47. And that is just, you know, fascinating. Regarding the number 137, there are a few things you should know. For starters, government sums to 137 with reverse simple English gematria, as does White House. And authority sums to 137 with simple English gematria, as does morals and dogma. The Masonic text authored by Albert Pike that we referenced earlier that pays tribute to Freemasonry being based in Kabbalah. Furthermore, 137 is the 33rd prime number and all of the following words have Pythagorean gematria of 33. As we decode, keep in mind George Washington was a 33rd degree Freemason who now has a 333 foot Masonic memorial built in his honor in Alexandria, Virginia. Not to mention the House of the Temple, the Scottish Rite headquarters in Washington, D.C. has 33 columns on the outside and each are 33 feet tall and not by accident. So masonry equates to 33, federal equates to 33, secrecy equates to 33, order equates to 33. To give you a recent example of how the numbers 33 and 137 come together in ritual or what I often refer to as number games, consider the story of 33 year old Naya Rivera's dead body being recovered in a lake on July 13, 2020. A date that can be expressed as 137 like 137. Furthermore, she was a star of the hit TV show Glee, and seven years earlier in the seventh month, July, the first member of the hit TV show was found dead, a young man named Corey Monteith, on July 13, 2013. Even further, when Rivera's body was discovered, it made her the third member of the show to tragically die young factoring in with her age of demise 33 also factoring in she had starred in the 33rd episode of the show devious maids that aired july 13th 2015 where she dies in the episode and she had also starred in the 2014 film at the devil's door where she wears a red sweater with of course the number 33 on it in light of the title of this film it is important to remember that where she drowned lake pyru is a name related to the word 
devil. That is because in Finnish, Piru is a word for devil. Next, for a relevant history lesson on the Illuminati, George Washington penned a letter to a man named William Russell, September 28, 1798, expressing his concerns about the Illuminati and their plans to overturn all religion and government through the means of conspiracy. Regarding conspiracy, the Illuminati was established by Adam Weishaupt on May 1st for this very reason. Notice the value of his name in light of conspiracy and even the stereotypical insult for truth seekers that is often tin foil hat using Pythagorean gematria. So the name Adam equates to 10. Adam, uh, I mean, and his last name, Weishaupt, equates to 44. So, Adam Weishaupt equates to 51, just like the date May 1st, 5-1. So, the word conspiracy equates to 51. Tin foil hat equates to 51. As you can gather, they all sum to 51, much like the dates May 1st or 5-1. If you're like me, the number 51 should remind you of the well-known location that is often associated with conspiracy area 51. And speaking of area 51, for those who contend Stanley Kubrick filmed the film film the moon landing there, you should know that the word moon sums to 51 with reverse simple English. <clears throat> it was for this reason SpaceX reportedly launched the first private rocket to dock at the International Space Station May 30th, 2020. Wow, 51 days before the 51st anniversary of the moon landing. Keep in mind that launch, keep in mind that launch was scheduled for 3.22 Eastern Standard Time and Adam Weishaupt, the founder of the Bavarian Illuminati, died November 18, 1830, the 322nd day of the year, an infamous number we will learn more about later in relationship to Skull and Bones, an offshoot of the Bavarian Illuminati. The number 51 also connects to the riddle of Naya Rivera, a name equating to 51 with Pythagorean, the same the same as Lake Piru with reverse Pythagorean as well as the words just the two of us with Pythagorean. The latter being the words she left on her final social media post on Instagram just before her reported drowning that we will discuss in even greater detail in the chapters ahead. So no doubt the next time someone throws the programmed stereotype at you tinfoil hat or mocks you for referencing the Illuminati, you'll have some gems to drop on them. You'll have some gems to drop on them. And don't be surprised if that if that often regurgitated insult is hurled at you for sharing the incredible knowledge of Gematria. Absolutely. Man, you should experience this treatment should you experience this treatment from anyone, remember, this language is for people with wisdom. <laughs> Something that most people don't have and are seemingly incapable of, almost as if they are under a spell, very possibly because of the lifelong programming they've been subjugated to through popular meter through popular media, most of which is produced by the cabal. In other words, you are blessed, so, that, uh, so know that truly. Back on the subject of the United States, um, back on the subject of the United States capital city, it should be noted that prior to the cornerstone being laid, Washington was first recognized as a territory on July 16, 1790, a date with numerology of 130, corresponding perfectly with the simple English gematria of Washington, summing to 130. Wow. Furthermore, the July 16th date of establishment was 144 days after George Washington's February 22, 1776, 
1790 birthday. This matters because the United States of America sums to 144 with reverse Pythagorean gematria. The name also sums to 26 with simple English gematria. And the date the cornerstone was laid, September 18, 1793, was the 261st day of the year. It is also for this reason that the U.S. dollar bill is 2.61 inches tall. Even further, if you use Pythagorean gematria, the name the United States of America sums to 99, and the United States of America was named as such on September 9, 1776, emphasis on 99. To take it further, the nation began with 13 colonies that are represented in the 13 stripes of the U.S. flag, and if you write out 13, it has a simple English value of 99. This connects to the fact that the Bavarian Illuminati was established with 13 families on a date with 99 numerology, February 1st or May 1st, I'm sorry, May 1st, 1776. Furthermore, from their establishment to the naming of United States of America, September 9, 1776, was a span of 132 days, not unlike the number of rooms in the White House. The distance of 132 days matters because United States of America sums to 132 with reverse Pythagorean gematria when you leave the out. For another 132, Catholic Church equates with simple English, and for another parallel to the church, the date the cornerstone, the date the cornerstone was laid, September 18th, leaves 104 days in the year, and Roman Catholic Church equates to 104 with reverse Pythagorean, similar to how 7-4-1776 has 104 numerology as follows: 7 plus 4 plus 17 plus 76 equates to 104. Thus, it is another reminder, all roads do lead to Rome and the church. Now, let us practice the decoding. And I will show you this decode that he has at the bottom of the page. Okay. All righty. So, You'll notice that if you leave out the, if you leave the out, United States of America sums to 84 with Pythagorean gematria. In light of the naming of the country being well coordinated with the establishment of the Bavarian Illuminati that was founded by Adam Weishaupt, <clears throat> a trained Jesuit and operative of the Catholic Church, it should come as no surprise that Jesuit sums to 84 using simple English and the title of the Jesuit leader, Superior General, sums to 84 using Pythagorean. Furthermore, if you write the Catholic Church, it sums to 84 in Pythagorean and the Jesuit order sums to 84 using reverse Pythagorean. That's crazy. So I will show you this decode really quickly here. So you can see. Alrighty. If you read George Orwell's 1984, you might be starting to understand why he chose the year for the title of his novel. And if you've seen the film based on the book, you're very familiar with the red and black color theme. They are colors of the Jesuits, and this same color scheme is used in another important and related film that is based in a 1984 setting, V for Vendetta, where the main character wears a Guy Fox mask, and Guy Fox was a Jesuit. As a heads up, the number 84 is one that you will come up is one that will come up 84 
the number 84 is one that will come up repetitively in the chapters ahead regarding the Jesuits and will surely be one to continue to come up as time goes on. Case in point, as I am finishing this book, it has been reported on May 20th, 2020, that the former Jesuit Superior General has died at age 84. To understand why he died on the date he did look no further than the fact that May 20th leaves 225 days left in the year, and his birth name, Adolfo, A-D-O-L-F-O, Adolfo, Nicholas sums to 225 with reverse simple English gematria. Even more, he died on the 191st day of the year, I mean of the current superior general's age. So Adolfo Nicholas died on the 191st day of the current superior general's age. Arturo Sosa, who was born November 12, 1948, and Society of Jesus sums to 191 using simple English gematria. If you're not aware, the official name of the Jesuit order is the Society of Jesus. As for Sosa being 71 years old at the time of Nicholas's death, that ties in perfectly with the next point that needs to be made about the history of Washington, D.C. and its significant dates. On February 21st, 1871, Washington, D.C. became an independent city-state with the District of Columbia Organic Act of 1871. The act merged the town of Washington and the Jesuit territory of Georgetown into one self-governing territory. This was done as a means to invite international investment due to the territory becoming impoverished and some areas being in ruins as a direct result of the U.S. Civil War that had recently concluded and largely bankrupted the nation. The year 71 matters because Catholic sums to 71 using simple English gematria and the date February 21st or 221 matters because the Bavarian Illuminati sums to 221 using the same cipher. At the same time, the Jesuit motto, Jesus, Savior of Men, equates to 221 with reverse simple English. And once again, the Illuminati was found by the Jesuit, Adam Weishaupt. What is even more hidden is the Gematria of District of Columbia Organic Act of 1871, summing to 201 in reverse Pythagorean, similar, how, similar to how the Jesuit order equates to 201 with the reverse simple English, another very special number to the organization that we will take apart in Chapter 4. Ooh, excuse me. Um, that we will take apart in chapter 4 when we discuss event 201 the coronavirus outbreak simulation of October 18, 2019 that again took place on the same day the military world games began in Wuhan, China a festival with origins in Rome like the Catholic Church and Jesuits for now you can know the following about the number in relation to the Jesuits and that is the Jesuits are reportedly no <clears throat> for now you can we're talking about the number 201 okay for now you can know the following about the number in relation to the Jesuits and that it is the and and that and that is the Jesuits were reportedly saved by Catherine the Great who preserved the Jesuit order by defying Pope Clement the 14th who ordered the Jesuits to be suppressed on July 21st 1773 and they were except for 201 the, the 201 that were protected by Catherine the leader of Russia at the time this number becomes all the more fascinating when you recognize that Pope Francis, the first Jesuit Pope, 
is also the first to live in Suite 201 at the Vatican, a stat pairing perfectly with his birth name, Jorge Mario Bergoglio, equating to 201 with simple English, the same as Ignatius of Loyola, the former, the founder of the Jesuits, as well as the name Domus Sancte Marte, the official name of Suite 201. I should also note that Adam Weishaupt, the Jesuit, eventually changed the name of the Bavarian Illuminati to Order of Illuminati, equating to 201 with simple English, reminding us of Inauguration Day 21, the 20th day of January. Another important fact that the date of the district about the date of the District of Columbia Organic Act of 1871. February 21st is that it is the 52nd day of the year with regards to 52 the head of the Catholic Church is the Pope and not by chance the title sums to 52 using simple English gematria same as the phrase the cabal their mission is to rule over earth a name also summing to 52 in simple English and a number pairing with the number of weeks in a year 52 and the number of cards in a deck 52 for a few more relevant terms equating to 52 government and white house sum to 52 using pythagorean gematria and authority and president equating equates using the reverse pythagorean cipher just wait until we get to donald trump's role in the cabal's schemes the man who attended fordham university a jesuit school in 1964 52 years before becoming president elect and 56 years before the coronavirus out outbreak i bring up the part about 56 years because it is a number you will become more familiar with in chapter 4 for now you can know that washington dc society of jesus and coronavirus each equate to 56 in pythagorean gematria you can also know that when we get to chapter 18 about how George Perry Floyd fits in with the cabal's agenda, a name summing to 201 with simple English gematria, we'll break down the changing of Washington, D.C.'s 16th Street to Black Lives Matter <coughs> Plaza on June 15, 2020, in tribute to George Floyd a date that can be expressed as 5-6 remember I mean similar to the number 56 and reminding us that the Civil Rights Act of 64 came 56 years earlier and Black Lives Matter sums to 56 using Pythagorean gematria <laughs> Wow so moving on to the third city-state the city of london its origins are so old the date of establishment has been lost to time its, its autonomy came however with the tonnage act the established that established the bank of england and respective territory as an independent entity july 27 1694 the tonnage act also known as the bank of england act 1694 let me reread that the tonnage act also known as the bank of england act 1694 made the bank and territory an independent corporation thus why the city of london is also commonly referred to as the city of london corporation in light of this fact notice how the numerology of the date of establishment corresponds with the simple english gematria of corporation summing to 144 so the date is 7 you would add 7 plus 6 i mean, 7 plus 27 plus 16 plus 94 equates to 144 and the word cooperation equates to 144. A moment earlier, 
we covered how the United States of America has gematria of 144 and that Washington DC was established 144 days after George Washington's birthday. This is a number relevant to the Jesuit order as well summing to 144 with simple English gematria and it reminds us that Donald Trump Jesuit educated posed with Pope Francis at the Vatican May 24th 2017 the 144th day to the year adding relevance to the number 44 Ignatius of Loyola the founder of the Jesuit order would often conclude his letters with the phrase go forth and set the world on fire ain't that some suit if you take the time to apply the code you'll notice that in Pythagorean gematria that phrase sums to 144 as well and in light of the Jesuits operating on behalf of the Catholic Church it is important to know that the nation of England has been under Catholic control since the Treaty of 1213 when King John pledged England and Ireland to the papacy this was agreed to on October on October 3rd 1213 a date with 38 and 26 numerology connecting both parties involved King John sums to 38 with reverse uh, Pythagorean and papacy equates to 26 with Pythagorean as a reminder 26 is the number associated with God as well as crusade and this historical event the treaty of 1213 wasn't long after the Catholic Church came into possession of the code after the Knights Templar returned with it from the Crusades going back to the date of July 27th the date of the Tonnage Act it is written 27 slash 7 in the United Kingdom much like 277 much like 277 the number 277 is the 59th prime number and this matters because London England sums to 59 in Pythagorean gematria whereas Freemasonry sums to 59 with reverse Pythagorean consider modern Freemasonry was established in the city of London in the year 1717 and the number 59 is the 17th prime furthermore the United States of America declared its independence from England in 1776 59 years later and Independence Day sums to 277 with reverse simple English for another point the word Mason sums to 17 in Pythagorean gematria tying in perfectly with the year 1717 the establishment of modern Freemasonry as relevant to the discussion is the fact that from the Jesuits being recognized by by Rome in 1540 <coughs> to the establishment of modern Freemasonry in 1717 is 177 years later and where the Jesuit order equates to 177 with simple English um, with simple English new world order equates to 177 with reverse simple what is essential to understand is modern Freemasonry claims its roots in the King's Templar who served the Catholic Church same as the Jesuits even further there are many Freemasons who are also Jesuits as well as being members of other Masonic orders as we will come to understand there is a thin line between these secret societies that is most clearly seen in Washington DC this is because it was once the Catholic colony also known as Rome on the Potomac and controlled by the Jesuits but is now known as the Masonic City named after the Freemason George Washington even with the newer name Washington it still has a heavy Jesuit presence due to Georgetown University the first Jesuit University established in the United States by John Carroll when he was 54 years of age on January 23rd 1798 it matters that he was 54 it matters that he was 54 born January 8 1735 because John Carroll and Jesuit order 
both equate to 54 in Pythagorean gematria. Furthermore, the number 54 is symbolic in terms of time. This is because we're on the Gregorian calendar, a solar calendar, and a word and the word sun, S-U-N, sums to 54 in simple English gematria. If you're not aware of the Jesuit logo, it is the sun with the letters I-H-S inside, as well as the cross and three nails, the latter symbolizing those used in the crucifixion of God's son, Jesus Christ. And for the record, January 23, 1789 was a date with numerology of 49. And 1.30, okay, I got it. And for the record, January 23rd, 1789 was a date with numerology of 49 and 1.30, both connecting to the gematria of Washington, as well as a date with 1.13 numerology connecting to the value of Scottish, summing to 49 and 1.13. Consider further, both Georgetown and Scottish rights sum to 57 using Pythagorean and George. Washington, the Freemason, having a first name equating to 57 with simple English, would turn 57 years old February 22, 1789, days later, just before becoming the first recognized President of the United States, April 30, 1789. I'll add that Washington's inauguration date had numerology of 140 connecting to Washington, with reverse simple English and numerology of 32. Wow. Connecting to the Scottish Rite and the Jesuits as well as America. We'll touch on 32 just ahead. For more relevance to the number 57, um, four of the first six U.S. presidents were inaugurated at, the, at that age of 57. Okay. Wow. And in light of the nickname of the capital city, Rome on the Potomac, it should be noted that Rome sums to 57 with reversible English. As for the four U.S. presidents to be inaugurated at age 57, they were George Washington, J Thomas Jefferson, James Madison, and John Quincy Adams. And for a final point about Georgetown's establishment and how it pays tribute to the Jesuits as well as the Scottish Rite, the date January 23rd can be written 23-1 similar to 231, the 21st triangular number. And this matters because the word Jesuit sums to 21 with Pythagorean and 42 with reverse Pythagorean. Just the same as how Georgetown equates to 42 with reverse Pythagorean connecting back to the Vatican being established on the 42nd day of the Gregorian year. Uh, give me one second here. Let's see how many more pages I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have seven more pages. I believe I can finish um, chapter <laughs> one. Okay. To further illustrate the relationship between the Jesuits and Scottish Rite, the 32nd degree of the Scottish Rite shares a motto with the Jesuits in Latin, Ad Majorum de Glorium. In light of it being the 32nd degree, keep in mind that keep in mind there are 32 sun rays in the Jesuit logo. And using Pythagorean gematria, Scottish sums to 32, as does America, the nation established on July 4th, 1776, a date with numerology of 32. In the same cipher. Christ also sums to 32, reminding us that we're talking about the Society of Jesus. To take it further, the Latin motto, Ad Majorium De Glorium, sums to 115, using Pythagorean, similar to how Masonic and France sums to 115 with reverse simple English, also spelled Ad, it's got it, M-A-I-O-R-E-M. -E instead of the J as up, of, as up here. So it is also spelled ad maiorium de glorium. Okay, maybe I'll just show you that. 
uh, so you can see what I'm talking about. And it's Maorium without the J in there. Okay. Woo. The reason France matters is because the Jesuits were formed in France and the Scottish Rite came to power there, the same nation where many of the Masonic founders of the United States of America studied. If you're up for a TV show, take the time to watch Nightfall set in France. It is focused on the Knights Templars fallout with the Catholic Church at a time when Pope Boniface the um, VIII, I think the eighth, Pope Boniface the eighth was focused on making all kings and queens of Europe bow the knee to the Roman Catholic Empire. You'll get a kick out of the mention of 65 Knights Templar orders in Europe in episode 6, knowing that Knights Templar and Christianity sum to 65 in Pythagorean Gematria and to be a member of the Knights Templar you must be a Christian. Coming back to the Latin phrase ad majorium de glorium it means for the greater glory of God. The translated phrase sums to 351 with reverse simple English the 26th triangular number bringing us back to the simple English gematria of God summing to 26 and on this subject let us not let us now appreciate how the Council of Nicaea in the year 325 that was held by the Catholic Church to bring about how to worship the offspring of God factors in to make a long story short the church who had brought many pagans under its rulership was having trouble with people worshiping the sun in the sky instead of worshiping the son of the virgin birth who died on the cross for man's sins and this was a problem they wanted remedied following the trial following the trail of the catholic church giving birth to the Knights Templar and the Knights Templar being the roots of modern Freemasonry and that you must believe in God or G hyphen D to be a Freemason and Catholicism worshiping the Son of God established and made clear in the year 325 it makes sense that Scottish Rite of Freemasonry sums to 325 using simple English gematria at the same time City of London Corporation sums to 325 with reverse simple English gematria and it too is under Jesuit and Freemason control meaning ultimately it is under Catholic control Ahead in the chapter ahead in chapter three, we will uncover what happened on March twenty fifth, twenty twenty, or three twenty five, while the Bank of England was three hundred and twenty five years old, the heart of the City of London Corporation. It will connect continents and many loose ends not yet tied. To finish our introduction to Gematria, the language of the Cabal, let us take a moment to think about the flag of the city-state Washington, D.C. On it are three stars that symbolize the unholy trinity. Mm -hmm. That is the Vatican City, the city of London, and D.C. itself. With that in mind, we'll now decode the word trinity using reverse simple English and reverse Pythagorean. You'll notice the word sums to 74 as well as 47 and which it does and I will show you that um, decode really quickly. The word Trinity um, equating to 74 and 47. Okay at this point we have connected how the number 74 and 47 correspond with each other with no correspond with each of the three city states and we have learned the mathematical relationships between the digits 7 and 4 one thing that has not been stated yet is the numerology of 74 and 47 equates to 11 which is known as the master number this is because the digit 1 is the only number that divides into all numbers 
corresponding with the belief that God is in all things and God is the master of all things. The number 11 is also the first rep digit, meaning a number that is made up of the same repeating number, like 11 or 11, 222, 333, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, etc. Plus, in numerology terms, when you repeat a number, you magnify its power. With that in mind, I want you to pay mind to the plethora, plethora of 47s encoded in these keywords that pertain to Washington, D.C., arguably the most powerful city in the world that once again had its cornerstone laid September 18, 1793, a date with numerology of 38, 47, and 137 all numbers summing to 11 in numerology terms. So and I'm gonna give you a list, here it goes, okay so like DC equates to 47 so 7 plus 4 what 11 okay. Authority equals um, government equals 47 authority equals 47 president 47 Trump equates to 47 Caesar equates to 47 White House 47 Republican 47 Whig um, 47 and Democrat 47 and I will show you these um, decodes because I didn't say what cipher they were in but he clearly lists them at the end there alrighty <clears throat> so for a few more examples it's not an accident that Donald Trump was in the 47-story Midtown Hilton Hotel the night of the rigged selection. And it's not an accident. Obama became president at age 47 alongside the 47th Vice President Joe Biden who was at the center of the Ukraine investigation Pure Theater, a nation summing to 47 with reverse Pythagorean. It's also not an accident that Abraham Lincoln said four score and seven years ago or that the United States birthday can be written for seven. Speaking of which, the Masonic compass and square used by the Scottish Rite out of France, a nation summing to 47 with simple English is set at 47 degrees in tribute to the 47th problem of Euclid, otherwise known as the Pythagorean Theorem. It is wise to note Pythagoras is considered by some to be the first Freemason and the name Pythagoras equates with Washington in all four base ciphers. A perfect match. Try your skills out and see for yourself. Other words having logical relationships and perfect matches are plentiful. Try witch and broom or judge and gavel. Speaking of which, the latter two sum to 47 using simple English and not by chance. Trump's first picked Supreme Court Justice Neil Gorsuch was confirmed on April 7, 2012. Emphasis on 47. As for the 47th problem of Euclid, it symbolizes how to establish a perfectly square foundation, a word summing to 47. Foundation equates to 47 with Pythagorean gematria. This pairs well with the fact that El Enfant, the French Freemason laid out DC, the land of 47, where the Washington Monuments cornerstone was laid July, on July 4th. In case you're wondering, in case you're reading this and seeing the connections and saying things such as, so what? Or, what is the value of knowing this? I want to say two things. One, you've been missing out for years. Okay, um, let me start over. I want to say two things for those who are asking so what, okay? I want to say two things. One, you've been missing out for years. And two, you will. <laughs> Am I reading that correctly? I just want to make sure I have it in context because I want to understand it too. It said, in case you're reading this and seeing the connections and saying things such as so what or what is the value of knowing this. Okay, I got it now. I want to say two things. 
one you've been missing out for years okay first as the first question and then and two you will you will begin to know the value of this got it all right so case in point Monday night football November 11th 2019 the Seattle Seahawks of Washington State were at the San Francisco 49ers as big underdogs on the 130th day of Washington State uh, no it's supposed to have been the year let me see um yep see I did miss something and I'm so terribly sorry that I'm making so many mistakes in this first chapter but here we go case in point Monday night football November 11 2019 the Seattle Seahawks of Washington State were at the San Francisco 49ers as big underdogs on the 130th birthday of Washington State not by chance the Seahawks coach Pete Carroll was going for his 130th regular season win and his 140th win including the postseason corresponding with the gematria of Washington summing to 130 and 140 and sure enough he got them paying those who took the Seahawks to win more than triple their money I don't mean to promote gambling but what I do promote is awareness of how the show is being scripted and how and who is responsible and how in the world of sports you can prove it every single day of course um, <coughs> American football is credited to Walter Camp the Scottish Rite Freemason and it is no accident the NFL had its first Super Bowl in its 47th season it was foundational to say a few more things about 47 the reflection of 74 the number we started with in Hebrew the word Elohim sums to 47 this is a common name for God of the Old Testament this factors in with how the name God can be written G hyphen D the seventh letter and the fourth as was mentioned earlier the cabal is playing God with this knowledge and not by chance the title the cabal sums to 47 with reverse Pythagorean it is for this reason the 33rd president Harry S Truman who became a 33rd degree Scottish Rite Freemason October 9 1945 was used to pass the National Security Act of 1947 that went into effect on September 18th the anniversary of the cornerstone being laid for the city of Washington DC a date that has much to do with the Roman Catholic Church prior to being enacted it was introduced in the Senate a Roman concept on March 3rd or 3 3 and it was signed into law by Harry S Truman on July 26 the day leaving 158 days left in the year Truman's signing date matters because the word Freemasonry sums to 158 with reverse simple English and the date August 15 or 15 slash 8 is the date the Jesuits were founded in France in 1534 before being officially recognized by Rome September 27 1540 this act created the NSA and the CIA things that have been used to both spy on the public and steer the public in the interest of the cabal who control the nation by the code and no doubt these agencies speaking of which if you've never seen the film the Truman Show you must it is about a man who has every inch of his life secretly tracked and recorded for the sake of being broadcast on a t on a reality TV show without him without him ever knowing about any of it of course the cabal also controls Hollywood summing to 33 with reverse Pythagorean gematria and if you don't know Hollywood is a reference to the wood of holly trees that have been historically used by druids to make wands for magic spells and again spelling is the word and the name of the game for your learning I must mention Truman's birthday May 8th 
1884, emphasis on 5-8, as well as the year 84. Use the Pythagorean geometry of Freemasonry, Secret Society, and Solomon's Temple, each equate to 58. Of course, Freemasonry is a secret society, and most of its secrets are in, le in legends of Solomon's Temple. It is for this reason that Donald Trump announced from his 58-story Trump Tower that he was running for U.S. President in the 58th U.S. presidential election. The significance of the number is also why he hired the 58-year-old Steve Ray for Inauguration Day, and it connects to why Hillary Clinton wrote the book What Happened, Summing to 58, with Pythagorean Gematria about why she lost the election. Regarding Hillary, Keep in mind, Freemason is a uh, Freemasonry is a fraternity for men, and when you apply reverse Pythagorean geometry, you'll notice the word fraternal, fraternal sums to 58 as well. One question we have not yet fully answered is why go through all this trouble of mathematical calculation and date planning, and name and word coordinating, as covered. This code is associated with God's way of operating, as it is taught in Kabbalah. Furthermore, there is another important set of occult teachings that the secret societies, including the Cabal, are heavily invested in, and that is Hermeticism. It has seven sacred principles. The third is vibration summing to 47 with Pythagorean Gematria. This principle expresses that everything including every number, every letter, every word, every color, every smell, every sound, etc., carries a vibration, and these vibrations have consequences that influence the world. Thus, if you can harness these energies and use them strategically, you can influence outcomes, something that the Cabal is heavily interested in. Keep in mind the word energy sums to 74 in simple English gematria, same as weapon and nuclear. This pairs well with the Trinity test where Trinity sums to 74 and 47. The first nuclear test taking place in the 47th state, New Mexico. In the next chapter, we'll talk about how this event, part of the Manhattan Project, pairs with the World Trade Centers falling on the 74th Meridian West in Manhattan and the site of 9-11 being called Ground Zero, a term that is used to describe the point above or below ground where an atomic or nuclear weapon explodes. Another event from recent history also tying in was the massive earthquake in Southern California on July 4, 2019, or 74, just days before the 74-year anniversary of the Trinity Test that took place July 16, 1945. This earthquake's epicenter was located on a military base, and not coincidentally. And much like 9-11, it created a sense of fear, and that is the energy and vibration the Cabal specializes in, pumping it 24-7-365 for the sake of control. For another 74, the word tarot sums to 74 using simple English as in tarot cards, and ahead you'll learn much about them, including the 19th card of the tarot deck, the sun card, and what the Gregorian calendar, a solar calendar, has to do with 19-year cycles. It has everything to do with why September 11th happened in 2001, blamed on 19 hijackers, and why the COVID-19 pandemic happened in 2020, 19 years later. In Chapter 18, we'll bring together George Floyd, who yelled, I can't breathe, summing to 74 with reverse Pythagorean, and why it was reported an officer kneeled on his neck for 8 minutes and 46 seconds in the Twin Cities, not unlike how the first plane hit the Twin Towers at 8.46 a.m. on September 11, 2001. George Floyd's killing happened in Gemini as well, the astrological sign known as the Twins, and as we'll get to, it was no accident that they scheduled the pre-trial for his murder 
for September 11th, 2020, the 19 year anniversary of the infamous day, especially when the surname Floyd sums to 19 with reverse reduction. On the subject of 9-11, you're likely aware that three buildings fell that day, and it was referred to as the New Pearl Harbor. Those buildings were numbered 1, 2, and 7, similar to the date of Pearl Harbor, December 7, or 12-7, much like 1, 2, 7, corresponding with the reverse simple English gematria of ground zero, summing to 127. The third building to fall, Building 7, was 47 floors tall, and each floor had 47,000 square feet of space. Adding insult to injury, it was known as the Solomon Brothers Building, not too far off from Solomon's Temple, and the name Solomon Brothers sums to 211, the 47th prime. Keep in mind, the demise of the World Trade Center was blamed on Osama bin Laden, who was referred to as the cave dweller by President George W. Bush. Not by chance, both his name and his nickname sum to 47 using Pythagorean gematria. And trust me, that's just where the riddles begin that we will dive much into deeper into next chapter and with regards of these very clear patterns when you have a moment I would encourage you to look into the BBC <laughs> BBC summing to 74 with reverse simple English reporting that building 7 had fallen well before it began to collapse if you have forgotten Building 7 collapsed several hours after the Twin Towers, and it was not hit by a plane, becoming only the third steel frame building to ever collapse from a fire in history, all three of which collapsed on September 11, 2001, in what is arguably the most obvious lie ever told. On the subject of 9-11 and introducing this knowledge to you, I would be amiss to skip the dancing Israelis who were arrested in New Jersey, a state summing to 47 with reverse Pythagorean on the day of September 11, 2001 for celebrating the attacks. They were then sent back to Israel, the nation that was recognized as a nation by the United Nations November 29, 1947, where they went on to li where they went on live television and admitted they were in the U.S. to document the events of 9/11, meaning they had foreknowledge. Okay, keep in mind, Brooklyn, New York a neighbor of Manhattan sums to 74 with reverse Pythagorean and I bring this up because it is the most Jewish neighborhood in the world outside of Israel and my first book letters and numbers teaching about the gematria of the English language as well as 9-11 and the dancing Israelis as those subjects have never been taught before was banned March 15th 2019, the 74th day of the year by Etsy, a Jewish-owned company out of Brooklyn without reason despite having all positive reviews and hundreds of reviews and over 10,000 sales. When we get to the chapter on Jesuits, we will discuss their Jewish origins like Gematria. We'll also expose Anthony Fauci, head of the NIH since 1984, the Jesuit from Brooklyn who said on January 10th, 2017, at Georgetown a pandemic was coming for the Trump administration in very specific terms. To close, there is one last thing you must know about the number 47. It is that the word time sums to 47 with simple English gematria. Consider the Tropic of Cancer is at 23.5 degrees north and the Tropic of Capricorn is at 23.5 degrees south thus separated by 47 degrees and they are used to measure time and the respective solstices of the northern and southern hemispheres thus the tropics measure the sun as you will come to understand this is what it's all about for the cabal using the code using the code to control humanity 
and control time as we know it. This includes controlling what we know about the past, present, and future. To quote George Orwell's 1984, who controls the past controls the future. Who controls the present controls the past. And that was or is the end of chapter two. Uh, <laughs> chapter one, I'm sorry. But I will begin on chapter two in the next reading on page 33. And um, in the meantime, I hope that you guys will uh, give the video a like and a share that some, so that someone else can find the information and learn about Gematria and, and get these books. Please, if you haven't, uh, purchase the book Letters and Numbers. Purchase the book Number Games. Read this information. Learn this information because we truly are being ruled over uh, by tyrants and it really should stop. In, anyway, you guys have a good night and I will see you guys later. Bye.